Sa video ng ito, gagawa tayo ng dalawang klaseng Ethernet cables or LAN cables, ang straight through at crossover cable. So bago tayo magsimula, balikan natin yung dalawang klaseng wiring standards. There are two standards that are widely implemented for typical Ethernet installations. And these wiring standards are called the T568A and T568B. Each of this wiring standard ay may tinatawag na pin out or ang pagkasunod-sunod ng mga wire sa dulo ng cable. So the first Ethernet cable that we're going to make is the straight through cable. Sa straight through cable, ang bawat dulo ay dapat magkapareho ng gagamiting wiring standards. So we can either use T568A for both ends or the T568B. Okay, so let's start. Ito yung mga gagamitin natin. First, ang UTP cable. I'm using the CAT5E UTP cable, RJ45, crimper, wire cutter, or isang matulis na gunting. So, una, tatanggalan natin ang cable jacket, mga 1 inch mula sa dulo ng cable. So, be careful when cutting the cable jacket para hindi mo maputol yung mga wires na nasa ilalim. After removing the coating, you will see four pairs of twisted colored wires. Untwist these wires and bend them back and forth to straighten up all the wires. Ang straight through cable ang ginagamit pag connect sa mga devices na hindi magkapareho tulad ng from computer to a switch or computer to a router to a modem or from switch to router. Now, let us arrange our wires based on the wiring standards that we will be using. So, again, sa straight through cable, it doesn't matter kung anong wiring standard ang gagamitin mo as long as magkapareho sila ng wiring standard na gagamitin sa bawat dulo. So, right now, I'm actually using the T568B wiring standard. And ito yung arrangement ng wires for this standard. So, always start from the left side. It's white, orange, orange, white, green blue, white, blue, green, white, brown, then brown. After arranging the wires, pinch the wires or press mo siya ng maigi using your fingers to make sure hindi sila magka-interchange ng position. It's very important that these wires will always follow the correct order. So next is to cut the excess wires. So ginamit ko ang RJ45 para sukatin yung wires at kung saan banda ang puputulin. Before cutting the wires, i-press mo siya ng maigi para magkadikit-dikit silang lahat at para magkapantay-pantay after cutting them. After cutting the wires while you are still holding them, insert the wires to your RJ45. Remember these important things when inserting the wires to the RJ45. Double check the wires if they are still arranged correctly. When inserting the wires, make sure na nakaharap sa iyo yung RJ45 habang nasa likod ang kanyang clip. Push your cable really hard hanggang sa umabot ang lahat ng mga wires sa dulo ng RJ45. Lastly is dapat lumagpas yung cable jacket doon sa lock ng RJ45. At kung hindi pa siya aabot, pull out your cable and cut again the excess wires. After you have followed all the steps, let's proceed to crimping our RJ45 to lock the cable inside. Now let us insert our RJ45 to the crimping part of the crimper tool. When the RJ45 won't fit in when you try to insert it, then that means you are facing the wrong side of the crimping tool. Kapag umabot na sa pinakadulo yung RJ45 connector, squeeze the handle really hard 2 to 3 times or hanggang sa mahigpit na yung pagkakalock ng RJ45 sa UTP cable. When done, remove the RJ45 from the crimper tool. If you're having hard time removing it, just press the head of the RJ45 on the other side. Subukan mong hilahin yung RJ45 from the cable to make sure na hindi siya natatanggal. So for the other end of the cable, we will do the same exact steps. And for the wiring standard, since this is a straight through cable, we will follow the same wiring standard that we used earlier, which is the T568B. So basically, this is how to make an Ethernet cable for straight through and crossover. So if you're going to make a crossover cable, the only difference is that magkaiba yung wiring standard na gagamitin sa bawat dulo ng cable. So it's very important for you to familiarize the arrangement of wires for each wiring standard. So again, straight through cable, both ends should be using the same wiring standard and for crossover cable, one end is T568A and other end is a T568B. Alright, so that's all and thank you so much for watching.